Hello there everyone and welcome to week eight. Uh, in this video I'll be going through uh, the introduction to our one program that we're going to write this week. One quick thing, there's some tips here for using the autograder that you keep seeing. These, these are great, uh, feel free to use them if you'd like, but don't stress the autograder. If you don't get 100% and you did your assignment right, you're still going to get 100%. Okay, I go through all of them and I grade them, so just be aware of that. All right. Let's dive into this. So it says normally you write two programs, but you're only doing one this week, and here's why. Because this is extremely important that you get this stuff down. So take as much time as you need on this program, and uh, um, let's let's do it. So write a defining table and a program that asks the user for an integer n, and then outputs the sum of all the odd integers between one and n inclusive. Okay, so if I put in like nine, I wouldn't just get the sum of three, five, and seven, which would be 15. I would get 25, which would be the sum of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, so inclusive. Submit your program to the discussion board. Okay, so let's start this. All right, here's my template program. I'm going to copy and paste it into, the, into a new file and save it as week 8 assignment 1. Oops. Okay. So this is for, we'll say week eight, assignment one. We'll take this out. We need that input, we need a button, and we need an output div. Okay, defining table. So the user will input integer n. Okay, we will output the sum of all, I'm just gonna copy this, sum of all the odd integers between one and n inclusive. Almost forgot about that. All right. So what are we gonna do for our processing here? We have an entire chapter full of incredible examples. I just typed in sum into the search up here and I saw this right here, function sum 10. We have a loop starting at one or starting at zero. It'll loop a total of 10 times, so zero through nine. And each time it loops, it will add a value to a pre-declared value. Well, pre-declared, I say pre-declared. It was declared before the loop. Okay, and then it will just add to it. And we can watch this um, being played out as we go through it. Okay, anyways, I show you this because this is a great example that, that might be helpful for us to use. Okay, um, so in here, we might want to declare some variable and then loop from 1 to n inclusive and then um, inside of our loop we'll check to see if iterator, usually i, is odd, then add i to sum. Okay? Because our iterator, let's say let's say we did put in nine, okay? We would loop starting at one, and if one is odd, we would add that to our sum. And then we check to see if two is odd. Nope. Is three odd? Yep. We'd add that to our sum, okay? And we would make sure to include our nine, the number that the user put in, and then add that to our sum as well, okay? And then we just output the sum, okay? Uh, and again, this is a really a really good example. That you guys can use. I hit a bunch of buttons here, and so it's being weird. Okay, but um, you know, here we have like a, a conditional statement, and 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 so this is this might be a good place to start. Okay, all right, and that is our only program this week. So I'm going to end this video. Um, well, actually, I guess before I do, let's run it, make sure that this is working okay. I'm going to hit Control D to select both of these template function strings um, or texts and rename them to, uh, I'll say print sum of odd integers. All right, and then this one, I'll just say um, user integer. And I'll name this variable n, okay? Like it says here. Um, and let's go ahead, I'm actually gonna open this back up. Um, so let's run this first of all, make sure that it's working. All right, if I type in five, run function, output text, that's just because of my template stuff here, so that's good. Um, no errors yet. 
Um, and I'm just going to copy this function. Actually, I don't need that whole function. I'm going to copy this right here, okay? Where they declare sum and have the loop. All right. So we'd have sum equals zero, which is what we wanted to declare sum as, okay? And then we can just add to it, okay? Um, I, we know we're going to start with one. We don't care about zero. And then we have to figure out a way to make this include the number that they put in um, as n, okay? So we've got to figure that out. Um, got to figure out how to check for an odd number um, and then add to sum if it is an odd number, okay? So that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great week.